All right, and the next very interesting topic is keywords. Now, keywords are very, very important because keywords are the tool you are going to use in order to rank your app high in the Play Store or the App Store. Now, I brought up a uh, interesting example called Simple Habit. Simple Habit is a meditation app. And the reason why I brought up Simple Habit is because meditation is a pretty crowded space, especially now in 2018, 2019. In 2018, self-care was declared the theme of the year by Apple, and meditation is obviously a huge part of that. But there is big players like Calm, which is a billion dollar company, um, also Headspace, there are huge established players. And Simple Habit was a new app that came along and suddenly they were ranked number one for the keyword meditation in the App Store, which is a huge accomplishment. And as a new app, that's very, very uncommon. So I spoke with the creators of Simple Habit and I was talking with them and I was asking, you know, how, how did you do it? How did you get your app to the top of the App Store? And what they told me was very simple, but they said, we were the first app to put the word meditation in the title. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Now, if you look at, you know, all the other meditation apps, everybody has the word in the title. And I was trying to figure out why is it so important to have the word meditation in the title? You can see they also have it in the subtitle. You know, they also have it in the description um, a couple of times right there, for example, and more down there. Um, so I, I had a meeting with Apple um, about two weeks after that, specifically with the App Store editors. And I was asking them because the official statement of Apple says, that putting the keyword in the title doesn't have bigger weight on the keyword ranking than, for example, subtitle or description. And I met with the apps editors and I asked them uh, about this specifically and I showed them the example. And they said, no, it's not true that, you know, the, the, the keywords are all the same in, in all the different fields. But um, I was still curious and I run a couple of tests and it is pretty apparent um, that there is different weight that the keywords have based on the placement where you put the keywords. And nobody knows how the algorithm, um, both for Apple and Google actually works, or like what variables it takes into consideration. But after doing my test, it is very clear that there's different weights um, of importance of the keywords based on the location, right? So specifically for the App Store, if you put it in the title, it has the biggest weight. And Apple doesn't want you to do this, right? So I was talking with them another time uh, and I was trying to get my app featured and they came back and they gave me some feedback on, on what to do in order to get featured. And, and one of the things, I had a keyword in the title as well, and they said they wanted me to remove the keyword from the title, and I asked why. Um, and their reasoning was that they want to provide a clean experience in the App Store, and it's just much cleaner if there's only the, the brand or the, app or the app name in the title. They don't want you to put keywords because it looks better. Uh, but it's better for Apple, not necessarily for you. So if you're not trying to get featured right now, you're trying to get ranking, I highly suggest you put the keyword in the title. So that's the most important one, the biggest weight. The second one is the subtitle. So here you see that they put meditation, calm and sleep as the, the main keywords in the subtitle. And then you put the, key keyword, uh, the keyword as well into the description. You can put it into what's new. And also if you have promoted text or promotion text, it will be dis displayed up here or up here, depending on your setup um, of the actual app store. So um, very important that you put the important keywords or the big keywords for you at the top. Now, the question is, what are the important keywords? Because if you're just starting out, uh, let's say you're a meditation app and you put the meditation keyword you know, everywhere, you're not gonna get wrecked. Basically, there's too much competition, it's too hard. Also, if you have a game, let's say, um, and you have some sort of, um, let's say, casino game, right? If you put the word casino, you're not gonna get ranked up here because there's so much competition. So you need to do a strategy that allows you to do different types of keywords. So now we're gonna talk about how to select your keywords, where to find the keywords, how to do the research, and how to implement it properly. So I just wanted to show you real quick, here's an, inside of an app store, I'll go into my apps and, um, We'll tell it, for example, this one as the first one. Now, so you have, like I said, you have the title where you can put, there's 30 characters which you can fill in. And for us, business cards was important phrase or keyword, so we put it in here. Uh, also in subtitle, you have 30 um, characters which you can fill up. And we use conference and meetings because it's what people look up when they are trying to find information about business cards. Um, and then if you go to the actual app build, 
you will see that um, you have what's new, you can put keywords there, but importantly, you put keywords in here. Now, I shouldn't be showing you this because this is pretty confidential information, but um, you have 100 characters in here and it's important where you put in the keywords in here. Uh, I, was talking about, I was talking about the ranking uh, and what is important where to put the keywords. Now I said the title, subtitle, uh, and the description. And keywords, this keyword field goes somewhere um, under the subtitle. Um, I think if, if I think of it in terms of importance, now again, the Apple and Google algorithms, nobody knows how they work, but from my testing experience, uh, this is the third most important place where to put the keywords. So now let's jump into how do you find the right keywords for your app?